Should people in St. Kitts and Nevis be alarmed at the rise and fall of COVID-19 cases nationally? International news media continue to monitor the restrictions in China that is experiencing new COVID-19 outbreaks. In Jamaica, it was confirmed recently that the new, more transmissible strain of the Omicron variant was discovered there, sparking a rapid increase in cases. So, should the authorities and people in St. Kitts and Nevis be concerned that a new wave of COVID-19 could overtake the nation? Former Chief Medical Officer Dr. Patrick Martin says that everyone should continue to exercise caution, but not panic. So what is happening now are sister variants of Omicron called sub-lineages. There was the Omicron 1, now it's 2, uh, now dealing with 4 and 5, so the virus continues to mutate, which it does naturally. And what do we have to do? Try to keep up, protect ourselves to the extent possible. And as the virus mutates or changes, we have to ju- adjust our behavior. Currently, anyone visiting St. Kitts and Nevis must be vaccinated against COVID-19 and unvaccinated nationals and residents must quarantine. Travelers are also still required to fill out a travel form online, produce a negative COVID-19 test, and must be approved before being admitted into the country. But despite these best efforts, Dr. Martin believes we cannot stop the virus from entering our borders. It is clear that you cannot stop this virus from entering the country. But since the original virus, we know that a significant percentage of infected people do not show any symptoms. It cannot be stopped. We can only try to control, protect the most vulnerable. And we can do that. And we have done that to some degree. And we have to continue to do that through public health measures that are tried and true. New estimates from the World Health Organization, the WHO, show that the full death toll associated directly or indirectly with the COVID-19 pandemic between January 1st, 2020 and December 31st, 2021, was approximately 14.9 million. Dr. Anthony Fauci, chief medical advisor to U.S. President Joe Biden, said the United States is no longer in the grip of the COVID-19 pandemic, despite the coronavirus continuing global threat. He admitted, however, that the virus is still present in the U.S. and that precautions should be taken. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.